Before September 11th, it was the most horrifying story of the year. Five children from a middle-class family in Houston, Texas, murdered, drowned one after the other in the bathtub of their home. The oldest was seven, the youngest six months. The confessed killer was their mother, Andrea Yates, who was scheduled to go on trial next month. Her case has evoked both rage and sympathy across the country. Why did she do it? No one disputes that she suffered from bouts of postpartum depression with psychosis, a serious mental illness brought on by childbirth and the demands of parenting. Tonight, for the first time, we will hear from Andrea Yates' husband, Rusty Yates, who stands by his wife and says that if she had received competent psychiatric care, their children would be alive today. She has pled not guilty by reason of insanity, but prosecutors say she is a cold-blooded killer who deserves to die for what she did. It looks like a normal, happy family. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> by all appearances, the Yates were a normal, happy family until two years ago. Soon after the birth of their fourth son, Luke, Andrea began showing signs of depression. Twice in 1999, she tried to kill herself, first from an overdose of sleeping pills, and then, a month later, she took a knife into her bathroom. She, she had a knife held up to her neck, and it's like she's looking at her neck trying to figure out how to cut herself so that she could successfully kill herself. And I said, give me the knife, and she said, let me do this. And I said, uh, no, give me the knife. And she, she wouldn't do it. She just stood there like this. So I, I grabbed her arm and pulled it down, and, 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 and I, I pried the knife out of her hand. The next day, Andrea Yates was admitted to a psychiatric hospital. She was there almost three weeks and diagnosed with postpartum depression with psychosis. Yeah. About 75% of new mothers experience some form of postpartum depression. It's commonly known as the baby blues and usually fades away in a few weeks. But Andrea Yates fits into a much more severe category that affects less than 1% of women. They may either kill themselves or their children. There's no evidence that she abused her children, but during her hospitalization, she described being stressed trying to raise so many young kids, saying it was a big responsibility. I don't want to fail. According to hospital reports, she said she had recurrent obsessive thoughts and that most of them are over our children and how they'll turn out. She was treated with two antidepressants and an injection of the antipsychotic drug Haldol. Her husband, Rusty, says the response was remarkable. Within a day, um, Andrea was, went from being completely catatonic to sitting on the couch with me in the visiting area, and we carried on just, uh, I referred to it as the best conversation we've ever had. The thing I learned from it is that she needed the right medicine. When I saw her respond to the medicine at that time, I'm like, wow, there's hope, you know, there's hope that, that Andrea will return. How do you respond to those people who, who've said in some of these newspaper articles that you weren't giving her uh, enough time alone, that you were a controlling husband, that you weren't doing enough to try to ease her burden. Well, they don't know anything. I mean, they don't know us, you know. I mean, it's, we had a, what I'd call a more traditional family. Um, but to say that, to say those things is really, you know, unfair. For more than a year after she got out of the hospital and was off all medications, by all accounts, life in the Yates family was back to normal. December they decided 1st. to have another child. There's the belly, there's the baby in there. Ignoring a doctor's written warning which said that doing so would surely guarantee future psychotic depression. That's a pretty uh, ominous warning. Did, 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 did you and Andrea, maybe given the circumstances, say maybe we've had enough kids we shouldn't have any more? Well, no. Uh, you know, we... We looked at that and we said, you know, well, this was a very difficult time. But then we said, well, would we rather have not had Luke? I mean, of course, we'd rather have Luke and have gone through that. What we were told is that there was a 50% chance that she would be depressed again if we had another child. And, and if uh, she got depressed again, she would have the same symptoms as she had in 99 and, and that the same treatment. That, that worked for her in 99 would work 
uh, again. Within months of Mary's birth, Andrea Yates' depression returned with a vengeance. It was a depression which her husband says led her to murder their children. So for people who don't understand, I mean, you're supportive of her. You've, you've talked to her, you've seen her, you, you go to visit her in, in, in jail. Right. And, and you support her today. Absolutely. There are people who don't understand who would say, she killed your children, five children, her children. How can you be supportive? What do you say to them? You know, the person that drowned those children is not, not Andrea. You know, if your brain's sick, then you can think things that aren't real. So because of that, because of that, that, that mental illness, you, you don't, you, you're not angry with her? You don't blame her for what happened? I don't blame her a bit. And that's, I, I mean, people find that just outrageous, I know, but I don't. I don't blame her one bit.